So hey everyone, welcome back to DB Tech. So you're back with new interesting video. So in this video, we're going to see how to install Prime OS on your device. So let's not wait and quickly get into the video. So if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel for more technical and interesting videos. So let's not wait and quickly get into the video. So as I told you in the intro, we're going to be installing Prime OS in this video. So all you need to do is follow my steps one by one. So this OS is very simple to install and it's also very simple to use and this is not complicated. So let's not waste the time and quickly start how to do it. So the first thing you need to do to install Prime OS on your PC is open Google Chrome and type Prime OS. So you could find the first official website of the Prime OS. Just enter that and you can see four different tabs that is classic, standard, mainlay and help. So I prefer you to go with the classic one. So because it has got highest rate of downloading. So let us click on the ISO image. So if you want Windows installer directly, if you want to install that, you could click on the Windows installer. So I'll open the ISO. So here you could sign the tab called click to start your download. So let me tap on it. So the file size is 879 MB and also it has got 750K plus downloads. So as I told you before, it has got highest rate of downloads. So and also this is the latest version uploaded by the Prime OS. So this is by the team Prime OS. So now let us click on the primary download. So as you can see your download is started. So here's the download. So but before that how to burn this. So you could burn this using the Rufus. So open a new tab and type Rufus. So here it goes. So this is the official website of Rufus. Scroll down and you could find the download link. So once you click it your download is started. So after that I'll teach you what to do. So let us wait for your download. So you need to have patience. So let me open the download. You can see the Rufus is downloaded and the Prime OS is getting downloaded. So here it goes. So as you can see the file is downloaded. Let me click on show in folder. So for better understanding, let me paste the two files in desktop. So let me minimize this. So here you go. So these are the two files required to install Prime OS. So first thing you need to do is open Rufus. So here it goes. And you need to select your ISO image, but before that you need to connect your device. Make sure you connect your pen drive. So let me connect mine. So as you can see now my pen drive is connected. Now all you need to do is select your ISO image. So click on select. So as you can see I have pasted the ISO image in the desktop. I'll open the desktop and you can find here the Prime OS. Just click on open. So once you select the Prime OS ISO, now click on start. So that's it. Half of your work is done. So just click on OK. OK and then proceed. So it takes some 5 to 10 minutes, you really need to have some patience. So once after this is done, you need to eject your pen drive and let's see how to boot it. So finally our device is ready to eject. So let us close the roof first and eject your device so you eject your pen drive. So here it goes, I have ejected, now let us see how to boot. So to boot to USB, you need to enter the boot manager by clicking on F12. So I have a low end system, so I'm using the F2 to enter BIOS and boot. So as you can see, I've selected the USB or the SanDisk pen drive. So now it is time to install. So as you can see, there are various options here. That is without installation, Prime OS to hard disk or debug mode. So all you need to do is go to advanced mode. So here you need to select the option called auto installation, auto install to specified hard disk. Just click on enter. So once it is done, you could see a new window popping out or you could see something installing. So it is all about the hard disk. So here you need to select your hard disk. So once you select your hard disk, you need to click on yes if you want to install and all your data will be erased. So as you can see the Prime OS is getting installed in the hard disk. So once this is done, half of your work is done. So as you can see, all the data are syncing to the hard disk. So here you need to click on run Prime OS. So once you click on run Prime OS, your work is done. So you could see the startup of the Prime OS. So finally we have the Prime OS. So this is the logo of the Prime OS and this is the startup of the Prime OS. So once this is done, you're ready to use the device or you're ready to use the Prime OS. So as you can see the Prime OS logo, it shows the welcome to Prime OS. You just click on proceed. So here are some details where you need to fill username, date of birth, gender, time zone, country and your city.
So as you can see now the Prime OS is finally activated. So hi welcome to Prime OS experience your Android on your PC. Looks very cool right? So this is the Prime OS. So it is very simple to install it on your PC. So as you can see getting ready and let us start. So here's the Prime OS. So as you can see it has got a lot of features in it. And also you can find Chrome, Contacts, Galleries, Settings, Play Store, Music, Calendar, Clock, YouTube, File Manager etc. So let us open the Play Store. Okay, we need to sign in for Play Store. So once you sign in, you could download all the apps which is available in the Play Store or which is available in your phone. So let us close this. And next thing, there are so many features. Let us open the settings. So as you can find that, I'm going to open settings. There are so many features. So let me open. So here are some features of settings. That is sets, lock screen, change wallpaper, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and almost all the settings which is available in the Android devices. And next thing is the navigation bar. I'll show you. So once you tap on the end of the taskbar, you could see the navigation panel or the notification panel. So here it goes. As you can see when the prior device or the pen drive is connected for installing the Prime OS, it is detected even the USB is detected. So you could use it freely. So this is all about the Prime OS. So I hope you all got know how to install Prime OS on your device. So if you have any doubt in installing, please do comment or shoot out the questions in the comment section. I'll try to resolve your problems. And if this video was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button, and suggest us what to do in the next video. Until then, stay tuned to the Vishwas from DV Techies.